Today is off to a really great start. First of all, do you see that amazing sunrise this morning? I literally, I just sat there and watched it. Love that. Also, it was like a brisk five degrees Celsius this morning, which is a huge, huge sense of relief from this heat that we've had. And we've already got Tool Time Tuesday uploading. It's fully edited on the, uh, on the Fordham, and it's only 10.30 in the morning. So today is off to a very productive start. So this morning I actually got a fire at my wood stove for the first time in a long time. Uh, I was out filming at 5.45 this morning, and like I said, it was five degrees Celsius. That's kind of chilly, so it was really fun to fire up the stove again, and mm, I smell like a campfire. Ooh. I've got some knives I have to ship out, so I'm gonna get those packaged up, printed off a whole bunch of orders, and then also I'm going to start on making some knife makers sanding blocks. This is one part of the giveaway that I'm having, and I don't have any any in stock right now, so I better get some made up before Friday, and uh, so we're gonna start on that today, as well as some knives. I've gotta check, make sure I've got the inventory for these knives, and we're gonna get grinding and cutting and just making a big old mess. Okay, now if we're gonna pick up kind of where we left off last week, uh, that clip for the Tonto, we got that finished up. And I was just fixing to take this to the post office and I realized I hadn't sharpened it yet. So we're gonna go ahead and sharpen the Tonto and then I'm gonna whip to the post office and get a couple of knives sent out to some soon to be happy customers. Pretty good looking little edge on there. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's see if it cuts though. Drones, farmers have just discovered drones. Well, that's cool. Kind of like newsprint or, oh yeah, that's good. I like it, I like it a lot. This is the last time you will see this knife on this channel. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Tonto. Have a safe trip to New York. All right, just getting ready to go to town. I guess I need my wallet. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that every single knife maker would tell you that the worst part about, about being a knife maker is shipping stuff. It's going to the post office and shipping out packages. I, I shouldn't say I despise it because people at the post office that I go to, they're actually really cool and it's fun to see them. They're super friendly people. But I just hate going and taking things to the post office. Now, if there's a knife maker out there that actually likes dropping off packages at the post office, why don't you and me, we'll, we'll form a company together, I will make knives and you can ship knives. So they're like doing construction on Main Street in Strathmore and it kind of makes getting to the post office right in there kind of a pain in the butt. Oh well, it should be beautiful when it's all done. Grab the mail. You know, it's funny because uh, since we live in a rural area, they somehow think I'm a farmer and I get all of these farm magazines. Look at that, eh? Maybe I'll take an extra $534,000 and pick up that sucker while I'm in town. All right, so one thing I've started doing is uh, putting a Homestead knife sticker in with all the knives I ship out. And I think it's a good little touch, along with a little handwritten note saying thank you for your support. There's some of the people that buy the knives that are fans of the channel as well, I give them a simple, a simple little life sticker. And uh, just kind of a, you know, just kind of a little way to say thank you so much for your support and for buying my knives. Speaking of knives, I've got this thing now. This thing I ground out quite a while ago. It was actually 
it was part of a deal for a neighbor's friend, but he ended up backing out. So I've got this one here, and originally the gentleman had wanted to put his own paracord handle on this. What are your thoughts? You think they should get a paracord wrapped handle? Um, that's what I've been intending with it, but I'm not entirely sure. This, I guess, is what they call like a trucker style knife. So it's got a hollow grind right here, and then this a flat grind. This is a very, very sharp knife. I really like this blade, but I'm not sure if I should go ahead and paracord wrap it, or if I should uh, put some type of a handle on it. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Uh, I can't work on this right now. Neither can I work on, keep working on the uh, sounding blocks right now because I've got to go hook up our water wagon. It's empty and our horses need some more water. I've got like this much left in their watering trough. <laughs> While we wait for the water tank to fill up, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Last week in the vlog, I had mentioned that uh, this week is going to be grind week. I've got quite a few orders to get out this week. A bunch of these last ditch neckers. Got my O1 tool steel here. I've got the die laid out, and I'm gonna go ahead and just lay out all these ones that I'm gonna be cutting out and making this week. Good thing to do while we're waiting for the water to fill up. So I think I'm gonna call it a day right there, guys. And I think tomorrow I'll be cutting out some knives. Hopefully we'll get to grinding those knives. I'd like to get all the rough grinding done on all the custom orders. Um, if it's possible, I'd like to get those to heat treat. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And then what I'm trying to do is that I'd like to get everything wrapped up on Wednesday so that Thursday or Friday I can do a complete knife build, like a one day knife build. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking some type of a kitchen knife maybe, but. We'll see. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. Cheers.